What's up guys, it's Chellers and welcome back to another episode of NHL 21 Franchise Mode with your Arizona Coyotes. So in the last episode we went through part of the year 1 regular season up to the deadline where we made an interesting discovery in seeing who's available for trade and um, yeah, so today we'll be going into the trade deadline and probably going to the regular season, finishing it off. Um, we're not going to go draft this episode, that'll probably be next episode. So one thing that I was looking at was again Ekman Larson. So I did speak with him, and he's and he ended up changing his mind. He said, "Listen, listen, GM Cheller, what I want to do is I'm going to a winner. So if you can't bring me to Boston, you can bring me anywhere you want, as long as they're a con uh, a buyer or they're a really good team with a high record. So we got his consent. We could trade him wherever we want. So Ekman Larson will be getting moved. Uh, so basically." What I plan on doing this trade deadline is selling some of my older guys, being Ekman Larson, not because he's older, but because he did request a trade in real life, and Nick Jalmerson, I do want to trade him away, at least try and get some value for him. Uh, 30, 33 years old, 85 overall, I mean, by the time we'll be an actual contender, which will probably be year number three, he'll be 35, he'll probably start declining, so it doesn't make sense for us to really keep him, I'd rather just trade him while his value is still decent. Um, now for Kessel, he is 33 as well, but uh, I feel like he, had, he gets really good chemistry with uh, Keller, so I think I should be keeping Kessel for uh, for the team. At least uh, at least until his contract runs out, which he does have two more years, right? Uh, yeah, two, one more year after this. So I think the right move is to keep Kessel, to keep him with Keller. They'll still do really well together. Uh, after that, I mean, maybe I could try and find a move for Stepan, but I don't really think so. I don't really know if anything if I could find anything for him, but we'll see. And Antiranta, I do want to move Antiranta, unless he says he doesn't want to stay in Arizona, which I'll look at the contracts real quick. <clears throat> so let's see, contracts. Uh, goalies. He still does not want an extension. All right, so we'll, we will trade him away. We'll probably retain some salary even if someone wants him. Now, I'm not going to go into the deadline right away because before I started recording, I was looking at the trade block for some teams and another team really come eye on who was available for trade in the block. And that was from Colorado. And you actually can't see his name right there, but here he is. Bowen Byram is available for trade. So, I mean, I think we might pull the trigger and maybe moving um, Ekman Larson to either... Colorado or Winnipeg since Winnipeg has Cole Perfetti and that would really help us out and I mean it is realistic because they do want to do want to move him so Perfetti I mean Byram I'm not going to do a trade right now but I'm just getting like a little grasp of what I would have to give up so I could do Ekman Larson straight up but they'd be over the salary cap now what about Winnipeg Winnipeg would also be over the salary cap so now I'm just going to look to see which players I could retain I mean, I could take on their salary. So there's Stasny, one year left. I mean, yeah, I could do that. But he does have, uh, like, I don't think they'd want to trade him away. He continues 83 overall. Maybe Perot. I don't, that's a pretty good option. So Perot, I could probably take on. Now, Colorado, do they have any bad contracts that I could take on? So this is by salary, right? Yeah, uh, no, this is, uh, this is by salary. Um, not really. Again, like, Donskoy maybe, but he has three years left. Like, that's, uh, that's not that good for us, even. Confer, Calvert's, like, not bad, but, I mean, uh, 2.8 mil is not a lot. So, I think it would make more sense to try and make a deal with, um, Winnipeg, with, um, with, uh, Ekman Larson. So, let's say I go to forwards, uh, go by potential. Sold Perfetti, and if I were to throw in Ekman Larson in our team, again, salary cap is the problem. So I would have to probably take on, if I were to take on Perot, let's see. Yeah, see, it still becomes an issue to salary cap, and I don't want to retain anything, so maybe, like, stats doesn't make sense, and plus he does have a better trade value. Um... DeMello at 79 overall. I mean, I could take on DeMello and just, like, play him like that. 
but four years is a lot. I'd probably want to offload this contract like ASAP. So this this would work, this trade. And I don't know if you would they would accept it. I'm not gonna, I'm not willing to try it out. I'll wait till the, till the deadline. But I could always add like a third or a fourth or something like that. But I could do this, or I could probably like I feel like Colorado makes less sense for a D, does it not? Oh, actually, Makar. Besides Makar. 83, 82, 81, 82. What about Winnipeg? Uh, 86, 85, and that's it. 80, yeah, it makes it, wait, it makes more sense to go for, uh, to, get, to get Ekman Larson to Winnipeg. But let's just look at Colorado, for example, and I'd have to give up with them. So, of course, I want Byram. And he's listed as what? A two-way defender. <clears throat> okay. How's he doing in the... Uh, I can't even see his stats. Yeah, that's another glitch I've noticed this uh, with um, the with prospects or players that uh, don't have... Uh, that are uh, in the juniors, right? Is he in the juniors? Uh, he, no, he's in the NHL. Interesting. Uh, but players that are... Like, that are prospects... I can't see their stats. Actually, can I even check? Like, let's say... Like, Eric Johnson, can I see his stats? Okay, I could. So maybe because he just hasn't played yet. But I can check his, like, junior stats. And even if you look at the draft class, which I'll, I can look at, I can show you guys after. Uh, you can't look at their stats, which is a really bad glitch right there. Like, I, how am I supposed to judge if my scouts don't scout and I can't even check what the players do? I could just draft by, like, luck. But Byron Freckman Larson, again, wouldn't be approved because of salary cap. And then I have to take on some salary. So... Going by uh, cap space or salary, I mean, uh, Lanniskog no, Sad no. I mean, Calvert could be the one. If I were to take on Calvert, it would work. Okay. And I could probably get something also. I could probably get like a draft pick, maybe. Probably like a third. So I could do this theoretically. Now, can I add like other? I'm not going to add my first. I want to keep my first for sure, especially if we're trading like Larson. We're basically saying we're tanking. So, I'm going to keep Kessel. If I were to do Stepan, which the league would approve. And Jalmerson. Now, doing this, I'd have to add back some cap. So, I would add Calvert. If I could find him. Oh, he's down there. Yeah, he's the lowest trade value. Okay. We'd still be over the cap. Now, one year left, so I couldn't. I would not mind retaining some salary with Jalmerson. Again, this is all theoretical right now. I'm not doing the trade yet. This is just a little preview, so I don't waste time to the actual deadline minigame. So, like this, they would accept. Now, I'd have to add something back, and I'd probably have to add, like, a prospect. Just so you get, you know, a prospect for a prospect. I mean, unless I have another player I could give back. So, I'm not giving Soderstrom. I could give them Copa Bianco. The trade would go through. The value is pretty similar. So Copa Bianco is an option. Um, Goligoski, I don't think they, they could take, could take him on, even though it's one year. <clears throat> um, forwards, maybe. Again, keeping Kessel. I want to keep Garland. Uh, I, I mean, I could give him, back, give him Fisher. Does Fisher like anything? He likes to... Oh, he likes playing with... Uh, Balance shoot, balance block. No, it doesn't fit uh, that much with uh, Keller. Nicky Schmaltz, I'd probably keep him. Is that Johan Larson? Yeah. I mean, he has he has pretty good trade value, but it doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't really make that much sense. Goalies, anti-Ranta? I could give him Ranta. Where did, how's Grubauer? Is he good this year? 84 and 82 Francois. Um, I mean, it's good. I'd probably have to take back France. So, no, I wouldn't want to take back a goalie, though. Anyone else with bad cap? So, Confer, I'm going to keep... I would probably let him keep Belmar. No, what if I retain the salary of Antiranta as well? Since he does have one year left, again, it doesn't even affect us. So 50% does not go through. What if I add, uh, what if I add, uh, what's his name? 
Belmar. Yes. Okay, so I could do work on this. So, I mean, now it's just a matter of who needs who needs a goalie more. An 85 rated goalie. I mean, it be instantly becomes uh, Colorado's best goalie. How about Hellebuck? Does he need a backup? Brossois, no. Okay, so I think Ekman Larson to Winnipeg and uh, Ranta, Jalmerson, and Stepan to uh, to Colorado. And I mean, you can't say it's a bad trade because we're getting them NHL players. And oops, I didn't mean to, sim to fully sim this game. Uh, whatever, finish game. We actually win. So Stepan probably playing potentially his last game for us. Ekman Larson potentially his last game for us scores. So we'll so now we sim a day. And also I'll, I'll look at the draft class for you guys. So what I did do off screen as well was do some more scouting up until the top twenty, I think, because the guys don't scout for themselves. And look at this, look Anturati, Anturati. I mean, look zero games, zero goals. Lazarev zero games, Kobarov zero games, Wong zero games. Like none of the guys are playing. Which is so annoying, like, wh so hopefully they release a patch that fixes it for next time, um, for like maybe next draft, or maybe when this draft, uh, when I do the next draft, but we'll send to the next day, we'll go up to the deadline, so we are a seller, and we will enter the trade deadline, so here we go, here's the mini game. Uh I've, wow, it looks really clean, honestly, I haven't really seen what the, what the uh, mini game looked like, or whatever, little new screen it looks like. So 6 a.m. I'd imagine I don't really know what uh, what time it ends the deadline. I think it was was it three three p.m. But so look at who's available. I mean Jonathan Taves is available, but I'm not gonna trade for him. Uh, Calgary, uh, Calgary, Buffalo, and Dallas are all interested in him, and you could see his stats. He has oh trade alert Toronto with a trade. Maple Leafs first round pick Abramov and Razanin to Minnesota for Nick Bukestad. Jeez, a first round pick and two players for Bukestad. Um, 41 points, and you can see his stats. That's pretty cool. Bufflin is in LA. He's available. Mark Andre Fleury. And you can see at the bottom, it shows like the assist leaders. So John Carlson's having a crazy season. Again, McDonough's available for trade. Wow. Uh, Manta, there's Nick Jomerson, Anti Ranta. Murray, Strom. Another trade alert uh, with Ottawa, Connor Brown in a third to Dallas for a first and a seventh. So let me check real quick, actually. Do, did the first drop in value? So let's look at like Anaheim. No, interesting. Boston. Wow. And they want to trade their first, but they're uh, interesting. Okay, but we'll get this done right away. So Ekman Larson. We will send them packing right away to uh, Winnipeg. So here you go. For Cole Perfetti, we'll get this done. Uh, come on. Trade alert with Boston. All right. Uh, second Halak and Oscar Steen for Jared Spurgeon and Hunt. Wow, big trade. A lot of trades going on right away early. So quickly, we'll secure Cole Perfetti. So again, salary cap is the issue. We will take on... Uh, we will take on the player. So we're by, who was it again that I want to take on? It was Perot. Right? Yeah. Okay. Perot and it was... Uh, who was the other one? Was it? It was the defenseman. No, DiMello. Yeah. DiMello, four years at three mil. I could always trade him. I could just flip him if I wanted to. Anaheim trade second round pick and a third to New Jersey for Kyle Palmieri. Wow. And a third. So this would go through... Now, can I add a draft pick? Like maybe Winnipeg second? Would this work? It would work. Okay, wait, how about a first? What? This will work? Okay, hold on. F hold the phone. Really? I'm getting this much value from Winnipeg? I mean, two first? Rejected. Another trade with LA. Oh, they trade Bufflin? Yeah, Dustin Bufflin and Soderberg for Harley and a, a second and a fourth. Wow. How about a first and a second? Rejected. How about a first and a third? If it says no, then I'll just do the first and that's it. Okay, just a bit low. Uh, I could give my fourth, but whatever. I mean, this is already pretty unrealistic. Perfetti and a first for Ekman Larson. I mean, he's having a great season for us, but... Perfetti could become a future stud for us. Let's get this done. 
Uh, so proposed trade is loading. And yes, let's do it. All right, accepted. So we got a massive blockbuster. Marcus Johansson and Marcus Foligno to Nashville for a second and a fourth and Borowiecki. Did I read that right? But we got one big trade right off the bat. Now we'll go to Colorado, who is looking like a dangerous team again. And we will take their Bowen Byram. And we will give them, again, we, were, we had this plan discuss, discussed. We were talking with the GM, with Joe Sack. He was interested. Jalmerson. Again, and these are all one-year deals, eh? Well, Stepan, I think, is not one year, no? Oh, what happened? We got offered a trade. Two sec, a second and a third for Stepan, a third and a fourth. No. No, thank you. And I just reset my whole trade. Okay. So that's annoying getting offered trades uh, because it does lead to... Um, it leads to uh, it being reset in the R trade. So, Jomerson, Stepan, and Ranta was the primary deal from who I'm giving up. And I'm taking on, I'm taking on, I'm getting Bowen Byram as well as taking on one of their uh, cap dumps, which was Calvert. And I will retain the salary of both Stepan. Probably, uh, who has the highest salary actually? I think Stepan does, right? Stepan and then by Jalmerson. Right, yeah, 6.5 and 5. Yeah, so I'll retain both of those. Again, like this, considering Colorado's in a win now, they're getting a great defenseman in Jalmerson. They're getting a good a good forward to play like third line. This trade is going to, it looks like it could go through. Ryan Murray and Nikita Nikita Gusa, right? Is that his name? For a first and a fourth to Philly. All right, big trade again. Can I get a first? Let's see if this will work. So a first and Bowen Byram for Jalmerson, Stepan, and Ranta. Rejected. Value isn't there. Now, that could be because it's the first. If I do a third of this year. Rejected. If I just do straight up this, it works. All right, boys. So we did say it, all right? You know what? We'll offer them Copa Bianco because I feel bad and we're giving, we're giving, we're taking a lot from them. Columbus with a big trade. Let's see who they get. Corpi Salo and Koivu and CC. Wow. To Oilers for Bouchard and McLeod. Wow. Big trade for Columbus. Looks like they're selling as well. Uh, where's Copa Bianco? Is he a D? Uh, Capo Bianco. Sorry. So we'll give him this, you know, just to be like, hey, we gave you a prospect as well. Uh, yeah, all right, let's do this trade. Bang. Considered a done deal. So we got our two big trades. Who's available? Who do we still have available for trade? Uh, Islanders trade alert. Let's see. Islanders trade JG Pajot and a fourth. And something that into Buffalo exchange for a first and a fourth. Okay, so who's so look at forwards? All right, so Perfetti we have. Perfect. I don't care. Uh, Keller, Kessel, we're staying, Dvorak is staying, Schmaltz is staying, Garland, Calvert, I could flip, uh, I want to flip DeMello, right, yeah, anyone else here though, no one of interest on forwards, D, of course, DeMello will be the one we're trading, uh, oh, we got a trade offer, Goligoski for a second and a third, that's pretty good, I should probably accept this, eh? Can I get a first out of Goligoski? I don't think I could, but let's try it. Considering guys are giving first for everything, might as well take... Oh, they don't have a first. Okay. Well, let's see if there's anything else. Oh. Sorry about that. Uh, my Siri accidentally turned on. Uh, that's pretty creepy. But it's 8.45 a.m. We did our two big trades. Uh, let's find a trade for, um, for DeMello if anyone is interested in him. I doubt someone will be. But let's just go look and see. So where is he? Uh, add asset, right? That's how it works. And find trade open block. Is anyone interested in him? All right, so a fifth. Fifth and seven, sixth and seven. Can I get better? Six and seven. Pelic. Fifth and seven. Fifth and seven, fifth and seven. Niemela. So let's look at Pelic. What did, how is Pelic? Is he good? Is he young? Medium top 6D potential. 26 years old. Defense, defense, and one year left. Is he... Does he have an extension? 
Uh, hold on. Pelic. Does he have an extension? Let's see. Where is he? There he is. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll do this trade. Uh, actually, no, no, no. I'd rather do the, uh, I'd rather do uh, like a good draft picks, right? I mean, even though the scouting is pretty dumb, a uh, fine trade. We'll get to, we'll get Goligoski and we'll, and we'll get, uh, and we'll get um, the mellow done. And then we'll end our deadline right there. So fifth and seven, right? That's what everyone's offering. I'll do it with Boston since they're not a good team this year. Might as well just get some good value for him. And then we'll try and get a first round pick to a team that actually has one uh, for Goligoski. I mean, I don't think he has that much value. But, um, well, he actually has no value. Jesus Christ, never mind. Uh, but let's just see. So Buffalo, they have their first round pick and they want to trade it. So I doubt. Let's just see what happens. Oh, never mind. They don't have their first round pick. I'm going to go over the salary cap. Okay. Carolina. Let's see, would this work? Rejected. I mean, I'll, I don't mind giving up getting a third. Like a third and a fourth. Uh, you know what? I'd rather try and get a prospect off of him. Can I send him to Boston? What's Boston's cap space? They could sort of afford him. And I could retain. He does have one year. Uh, should I try and get Stanika? This wouldn't work, right? Uh, what the hell? Oh, there you go. <clears throat> this wouldn't work. I doubt it. But maybe... Maybe like a third. Again, I'm trying to improve their rosters right now. Nah, okay, forget it. I'm, I don't want to... I already kind of fleeced uh, Col Colorado and Winnipeg. Well, not really Winnipeg, but I did fleece Colorado. So I will uh, just, just send them to a team that uh, can afford him. And I'll take on like their third and fourth or something. Right. Or actually, no, no, no. I'll, I'll find the trade for Goligoski. See if I can. See if someone's willing to offer me a second. <clears throat> Rather than me going team for team. So, defenseman. Goligoski. Open block. Third and fourth, yeah. Uh, third and fourth, third and fourth, third and fourth. Oh, wait. Ooh. Michael DiPietro. I'm actually willing to do that. That's a pretty good one. Michael DiPietro is a medium starter. 78 overall, 21 years old. Yeah, I'll do this. 100% I'll do this trade. Perfect. All right, there you go. That should be everyone I want to trade, right? Do you have anyone else that's uh, old besides Kessel? Marion Hosa, Perot. I mean, I could flip Perot, but I'll just, I'll just keep them. I don't want to flip them, actually. Uh, so forwards, no. Defensemen, Demers, but whatever. If someone offers it to me, but which I don't think uh, they will. Chikrin, no. Uh, goalies, Ranta Hill is good. And I have DiPietro. Trade alert, Columbus. Third, and David Savard for Joseph. A fourth, and Pustin. All right, so I think that's it for, for us, honestly. We'll look and see... Um, off the market, Boychuk's off the market, sold, so Bufflin went left, Mantha left, Jalmerson, Ranta, Spurgeon, Murray, Corpicello, Palmieri, Stepan, Gusev, Goligoski, Kuevu, Halak, Vatanen, Pajot, Brown, Johansson, Savard, Bukestad, Soderberg, Merrill, Hunt, Borowiecki, oh, we got a trade, third and a fourth for a second and a third, yeah, I'll accept that, why not? Sure. Uh, okay, so can I look at here trade summary? So before we'll before we leave the deadline, we'll look at all the big trades. So Arizona, Winnipeg. So uh, let's go all the way to the beginning, <clears throat> and we'll see what happens. So again, so Bukestad for a first Abramov and Rasmussen. We got a trade again, a second and a third from to uh, to the Rangers for Ryan Strom, a third and a fourth to Nashville. Okay, so Connor Brown, a third to from Ottawa to Dallas for a first and a seventh. Uh, Halak, Steed, and a second for Spurgeon and Hunt. 
Again, yeah, we looked at all of these ones. Any ones that we missed here go Bufflin and Soderberg. Do we see this one for Harley a second and a fourth? Johansson and Felino for a second, a fourth, and Borowiecki. Then there was Archery, then Ryan Murray and Gusev yeah, for a first. Red Wings send a second to the Rangers for Kreider and a third. What? That's crazy. Corpi Salo, Quavo, and Cece. Yeah, we saw this one for Evan Bouchard and McLeod. There's Jalmerson. We saw the Pajot trade. We saw. Oh, here we go. Manta and Merrill for a first and Killinen. Then there was our trades. David Savar. We saw. And that's it. Okay. So I'll end the deadline there. 11 a.m. We'll stop. Is there a way? Can I like fast? Oh, we got another trade. No, I'm not trading away Castle. Proposed trade, fine trade, trading blog, draft board. No. All right. We'll end it there. But we'll end the, the, dra the trade deadline there. So. We really downgraded our team a lot, and now we'll uh, we'll fix our lines. Oh, we might fire the coach in the off season. We'll see what coaches are available. So edit lines again. We will keep. Uh, yeah, so everything is screwed up. So we'll go to best lines, and I hope no one. Di Pietro is here. And uh, what about is is Byram here? Byram is here. He's listed as a minor top two DC. So we'll send him down. So we gotta send down Byram and we gotta send down Di Pietro. So let's do that right now. And we'll quickly end the regular season and see what we finish in. So now we're sellers. I'm expecting like we were sellers, we're rebuilders now. I'm expecting tons of losses. So Di Pietro and Byram. One, two, three, four. We gotta we gotta call up some D. There you go. So now look at our forward. So in the system, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So Hunt will send you down. All right. Uh, under the salary cap. Okay, so we can do that. And now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we'll send down. So, oh, never mind. I can't send anyone down, but uh, whatever. It's fine. We're going to edit lines, do best lines, and put Keller and Kessel back on that second line. What was, the, what was it again? It was Keller here, it was Kessel here, and it was um, Schmaltz, right? Yeah, it was this. So now for the first line, Dvorak, we'll put him up here. Oh, he's a center, right? Yeah, he's a center. Uh, and who else? Perot. Yeah, an even zero. Uh, Barrett Hayton will play him first line. We'll play him with Fisher. Anyone else? Okay, yeah, we'll leave that aside. Defense, Chikrin and Demers. Yep, Osterley and Ness. Jeez, this defense looks horrible. Man, we really gouged our defense. We gotta do some major uh, things. Tuscan Roadrunner, so let's look. So where is... Byram and I'll put him with Soderstrom. Our two best prospects on D. There you go. And also, uh, no, I won't. Uh, I should I give him a, a contract by um Perfetti? I, he has grown, right? He he has grown. At least I'm pretty sure. He was a 73, I believe, from when I I first saw him. Did I not? Uh, I mean, I could give him a contract anyways, but uh, no, no, no. I'll just uh, I'll just leave him uh, leave him unsigned, and I'll sign him in the off season. So we'll finish the regular season quickly. We are at around the twenty nine minute mark, so we'll get this over with right away. Don't want to go too ahead. So let's see if we can get lucky. We should finish. Hopefully, a top five pixel we're aiming for. So now we're gonna lose every game. Hopefully, we can keep the offense going for our guys, for like Kessel and Keller to keep their ratings up. But yeah, we're if we win like two games, I'll be happy. I mean, we already won one right there. Uh, okay, we won two games. Sorry, never mind. Uh, three in a row. Wow, okay. So, looks like we're playing better with worse players. Interesting. Considering how poor we did it to end uh, to go up to the deadline. All right, there you go. We're getting a couple more losses. Another win. Um... Draft class to go look and see. Did we get uh, the scouting done for the guys? So by the looks of it, we have the top four is all elites, high elite and righty, the rest medium elite. Then we have a high top six center in Lerre, Lerre, 
and then a medium elite center in Winnick, power forward. These guys, oh, medium elite. This guy could be a, a guy we might try and sign. I uh, try and draft. I mean, that, like, that's like what, what we might go for. We're scouting him. We're scouting him. Giftopoulos in two room. Tursum Baev, Gunter, Cole Solinger, high top six. Wow. Roa, we're sign. We're dra uh, scouting. Sorry. We'll scout you again. Uh, wait, are we scouting him? Yeah. Lambos, scout him again. Clark has a franchise, uh, uh, a low, so we'll look and see what that actually is. Oh, Chaika might be an elite. Again, I'm going to, to 17 again. So, there you go. Keep So, these are still being scouted. Yep, two women in, yep. And that's it, okay. So top 20 is still being scouted, so we'll keep the simulation going. Can we start losing some more? There you go, Tampa Bay. Can we go up to like 500? Below 500 would be what we're aiming for. Yep, 7-3 loss. At least we're scoring. That's what I was kind of hoping for. We win versus them. And we win versus we win versus the Islanders and the Devils. Are you serious? And the Blackhawks. Come on, guys. Why are we winning? What? We just How do we win versus Colorado? We just gave them a crazy team. Okay, Minnesota, LA, we win. Stop winning. Why are we at 40 wins? We did better than before. We Are we in the playoffs? Oh my god, guys. We made the playoffs. <laughs> How do we just make the playoffs with 89 points? Are you serious? There's no. We're probably getting swept in the first round, 100%. But, I mean, Keller with 66 points. Kessel with 62. We didn't get 30 goals. Schmaltz with 55. How? How, how, how? Um, I want to check the team team stats and see where we finished overall. 89 points when we made the playoffs. We finished... Oh, we just made it with Anaheim. So Anaheim... How come? Oh, regulation overtime wins. We had two more, so we ended up making it. Are you serious? Okay, boys, it looks like we're in the playoffs. We beat out teams like Boston, Chicago, uh, Nashville. Islanders are the worst team in the league. I mean, I was hoping for like a top five, but we're getting a, a drop. We're not even getting a lottery pick, which sucks. Um, we'll look at the player stats. And then we'll look at who we're matching up in the playoffs. And then we'll end the episode there. I did not expect the playoffs. So here you go. McKinnon and McDavid with the most points in the NHL with 105, Ovi with 104, uh, Dreisaitl with 100, Malkin in 98, Aho 90, Pedersen with 89, Crosby 87, Ranton in 87, Point 87, Carlson 86, wow, 71 assists, uh, okay, Bergeron 84, Marshawn 84, top goal scorer, Ovechkin with 59 goals, so what is he at right now, overall? 765, the record is... Uh, is what 800 what was it like 850 or something that is the record so two more years he should get it mckinnon 53 malkin 49 wow marshall 41 patch ready with 42 uh look at points for a d we already know it's john carlson we'll look at the other guys so john carlson crystal tank petrangelo ekblad headman dowdy there's oel with 50 how did he do with winnipeg he had 16 points in 20 games of Winnipeg. Well, that's really good. How many? How much ice time? He probably had a load of ice time. Yeah, the same as us. Okay, so we'll see that. Yossi, 59. Goalies. And we will go up to... We'll go up to 40 games played minimum. Carter Hart, 88 overall. Wow, and he is the most wins with the type of Lundqvist of... Uh, Lundqvist of Washington, interesting. Highest save percentage is Dubnik with 38 wins as well. Uh, what was the most wins? It was 48, no? 39, I mean. Okay, so it looks like Dubnik might be the, the winner of the Vezina. Maybe even Freddie Anderson. Um, I think probably Dubnik. So San Jose got a good player, got a good goalie signing in Devin Dubnik. Rookie skaters, who is going to win Rookie of the Year? Lafreniere. With 60. Barrett Hayton actually finished uh, second with 39 points. Uh, where is... Oh, there's Vasily. Is that his name? Vasily or Vitali? Vitali Kravtsov. What's his... Uh, 
Medium top six. I mean, Bowen, Baron Hayton playing on the third line this, the entire season, 39 points is actually really good. We probably got a good... He might grow. He might grow a lot this this, uh, this off season. So, Lafreniere again, 60 points, looking like a stud. What overall is he actually? Let me go check. Uh, Lafreniere. Oh, wait, that's us. Entire league. 83 high elite. Any rookie goalies? Shesterkin is considered a rookie. Uh, Vladar. Vladar. Yeah, Vladar for Boston. 960. 960. Uh, six games played. Never mind. Uh, there's Delia. Um, okay. Shesterkin. I mean, 26 wins is good, but I don't think it's enough. Uh, for his teammate, uh, Lafreniere should win the, the uh, Calder. So that's everything. We will go day by day and we'll see who we're playing versus. Here you go. We are against, are we against Colorado? We're against San Jose. So we're against Devin Dubnik and uh, Brent Burns. Um, Patrick Marlowe, I believe, is still there. I don't really know. We'll look at their lines in the next episode. But there you go. This is the... Um, the year one, an unexpected first round, uh, not first round, an unexpected playoff appearance, considering we did trade away uh, Nick Jalmerson, Oliver Ekman Larson, Derek Stepan. Uh, who else did we trade away? Uh, Antti Ranta. Those four big names that we traded away right there, who were all like 83 plus. Uh, Gola Gosk as well was an 82 overall, I believe. And we made the playoffs. We did better now than we did in our stretch going going into the trade deadline. But uh, we'll look at progress reports as well. And then we'll end the episode there. So progress reports, who grew, who declined. So Keller and Chikrin. Chikrin's an 85 now, so he's growing nice. Hayton's is, in a, is a 79, he got 8 growing. Uh, Mayo, <laughs> mayonnaise. Fisher is an 81, I don't know if it's all it was. Kessel, were they declining stats or improving stats? Declining natural growth, okay. It's just his, his speed and his physical. Uh, so Yarvi will look at goalies. Nothing. System. Roddy. Yep. Perfetti. Yeah, so Perfetti has been growing. This was, I believe, with... Um, with... Um, what's it? Uh, Winnipeg. DiPietro is growing. Where is that... Um, what's his name? Soderstrom. Byram haven't grown. They're probably off-season growers. Uh, e. Pedersen, Emil Pedersen. Uh, yeah, there's the Pietro. Okay. So, growing for my young players, I'd like to see that. Um, Byram, hopefully, is an off-season grower, or else we got screwed in that trade. But, yeah, we'll end the episode there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Remember to subscribe, because I will be uploading uh, consistently three, three times a week, probably, is what I'm trying to aim for. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon.